I want to draw it out what, so people understand. So if you look at his arm, okay, so here, here is the tip of that very prominent bone right there. And the patients, you know, usually have pain there. So this is muscular, and then this is sort of tenderness. The tenderness gets diseased, right? So people come in with MRIs and they say, oh, my tendon ruptured. No, the tendon doesn't rupture. What it is is it's degenerative, so on an MRI it looks abnormal, and as it does on the ultrasound. So what we used to do is make an incision from here to here and go through skin, go to the muscle, elevate the muscle and the tendon origin and scrape the bone and scrape the tendon. And that works, but you can imagine that that's painful post-op and for somebody to go back to tennis or golf or, or, even, or manual work, that's very difficult, very painful. So it takes a while. This, these people can go back. I mean, I have tennis players going back within about three weeks because instead of opening and scraping this area, I'm going in with a little hole and a device, right, called the uh, Tenex, right, because it works on the tendon, and it's got a little oscillating tip, and that vibrates, ultrasonic, it's ultrasonic uh, energy, that then basically liquefies a bad tendon and aspirates it, suctions it out, which is why they probably don't have pain, because the, the chemicals that really stimulate that the brain perceives as painful, called uh, cytokines, they're, they've been suctioned out. So even when you do the open surgery, many times that's still there. But, but with this procedure, not only does it liquefy the disease tendon at a specific frequency, so it doesn't affect the normal tendon, just the disease tendon, and it suctions it out. So, I mean, this is a, a real breakthrough for any tendinopathy or, or tendonitis. It's be golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, a jumper's knee, which is patellar tendonitis, Achilles tendonitis, plantar fasciitis in the bottom of the foot. I, I'm not doing it myself at this point, but many people will use it for a rotator cuff right at the insertion of the rotator cuff a tendinopathy. In the words of a, a colleague of mine, uh, John Levy, uh, who's a shoulder surgeon, I, at a meeting he once said it was a game changer, and I agree with John, uh, Dr. Levy, it, this is a game changer.